Ah, the elusive Nintendo Switch 2, the Super Switch, the Nintendo Switch U. Who knows? Who knows when it is even coming out? I had my money on this year, but hey, I guess I was wrong. So I guess I'm going to put all my chips on next year now. Today, I want to try to predict what the launch lineup of Nintendo's next system is going to look like. I think I have some pretty good ideas of what we might see day one. If you like these type of videos, you hit that subscribe button. That would be absolutely fantastic. Thank you for supporting me in my dreams. Hit the like button too while you're at it. Without further ado, let's let's materialize some games hey because trust me we all want these bad boys so let's start off with nintendo themselves hey i'm pretty damn sure we're going to see the next 3d mario straight up day dot on switch 2. i don't think it's going to be odyssey 2 i think it's going to be just some unique creative ridiculous idea that nintendo has created they tend to do this with every system we never saw a sunshine 2 obviously galaxy had a galaxy 2 because it's just so good so they're going to do something different to initiate that new system feel new system new 3d mario i'm also pretty damn positive that the next mario kart has actually been finished for ages because they know they're going to release another mario kart as soon as the last one comes out and it's been a decade now that we've had Mario Kart 8 for. And yeah, we got Deluxe and we got a hell of a lot of content on Switch. But I think we're going to see this system launch with a brand new Mario Kart. Because just, just why wouldn't you? Mario Kart sells so well. It is a system seller. Mario Kart Switch. Let's do it. Let's have it for the Switch 2 Mario Kart Switch. Done deal. Ooh, maybe you could choose two characters and you could like switch between them huh not like double dash like kind of cooler and better now you could like switch carts or something i don't know something cool there that's why i don't work for nintendo these next two are probably pretty obvious but the rumors went nuts when pokemon legends a to z was announced yeah i definitely think this is going to be a cross-gen title minimum definitely going to launch on the switch 2 again pokemon system seller it's a no-brainer really isn't it and another game i think that is going to be cross-gen minimum but i've actually got my money on switch 2 exclusive only is metroid prime 4 i just think it's too late in the switch's life cycle to bring prime 4 to it now and honestly you'd be doing metroid a disservice with that Oh, here's this brand new awesome Metroid game, and we're going to drop our new console three, six months after that? Nah, 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 nah. Let's just hold out. And the new specs of the Switch 2 are going to mean that Prime 4 is going to run incredible, and it's just going to be able to do so many more things than if it was confined to, you know, this outdated Switch hardware that we have at the moment. So I'm actually really hoping that it is just a next generation title only no cross gen on that one but what are you hoping for i know metro prime 4 is a little bit of a it's a touchy subject these days so let me know what you guys are hoping for in the comments below we've waited this long guys let's just hold out to the next system now zelda we haven't talked about zelda yet my favorite nintendo ip the second biggest after Mario. Well, it's probably like the 10th biggest after Mario Kart, Mario Party, 3D Mario. Anyways, big Nintendo IP. We're not going to see our next big, huge open world 3D Zelda anytime soon. We know they take many years to develop. What I do think we're going to get, maybe not on launch, but at least year one, is a 2D Zelda to tide us over. Now, that might be an original 2D Zelda, and I know many of us are hoping for that. But I kind of get the feeling it might be a remake. Kind of like what they did with Link's Awakening. So we have that cute little chibi art style, brings it into the modern era, available on modern consoles. I'm thinking maybe the Oracle games or the Minish Cap. They're just perfect contenders for a remake along those lines. And of course, of course, Monolith Soft is going to be involved in the Switch 2's launch lineup 
somehow. If you go onto their website and see what games they're like have helped out with in the Switch, it's ridiculous. Splatoon 2 and 3, Breath of the Wild. It was Monolith Soft's knowledge of open world that allowed Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom to be the open worlds that they are. They are just absolutely incredible for what they do. And their output on the Switch is honestly second to none. Like, it's just as good as Nintendo themselves. So, whether we get a new Xeno game, I know where Xenoblade Chronicles has kind of ended now with the trilogy, but maybe we'll get a Xeno something. Maybe we get a remake of one of their older games, like a Xeno Saga or Xeno Gears, but I'm willing to bet money that they're going to have a brand new Xeno game ready to go day one for the Switch too. And if they don't, it's only because they're helping out Nintendo with whatever game they want to push out first before Xeno, whether that be, you know, the big Zeldas or another Splatoon or something along those lines. Okay, so we've talked about Nintendo and Nintendo IPs, but what about third party? The Switch kind of suffered right out of the gates because all these third party studios had no confidence in it. And honestly, I don't blame them. Like the Wii U failed hard. For better or worse, it failed hard. So if I was a business, I wouldn't be willing to put some of my chips in Nintendo's pile. No, thank you. I'm going to focus more on the other consoles. Ooh, I bet you those companies are kicking themselves now, eh? This time around, I reckon we're going to get way better third-party support right out of the gate. Now, one of those third-party studios that did actually support the Switch incredibly well, one of my personal favorites, is Square Enix. So I think we're definitely going to get something from them day one. I'm thinking maybe a Team Asano title. So Bravely Default 3, Bravely 3rd, seems like an obvious choice day one for the Switch. Gives us a nice JRPG there, day one, ready to go. Keep us RPG fans happy. Maybe it'll be an Octopath Traveler 3, Triangle Strategy 2, or just a brand new title. But I think something Team Asano will be there day one. I also think Square is going to port some of their larger titles over to the Switch 2. Because theoretically, it should be able to run things like Final Fantasy VII Remake. Maybe Rebirth is stretching it a bit, but I reckon we're definitely gonna see a Final Fantasy VII port onto the Switch 2, for sure. And that is gonna boost the sales of that game like there is no tomorrow. And then, of course, we're going to see Visions of Mana there on Switch 2 day one. That is releasing this year for other platforms. But I mean, it'd just be ridiculous to not bring the Mana series over to Nintendo in some capacity. We're obviously limited with the current Switch's hardware, which is why it's not releasing on that. But I definitely reckon day one, we're going to see Visions of Mana right there. Nice action RPG. Let's go. And then what about other big third-party studios? Capcom, maybe. I don't see why we can't get a port of Street Fighter. Seems pretty obvious to me. Street Fighter on the go. I also think that Nintendo might market this as less of a children's console like they did with the Switch initially. So I think getting ports of some horror necessities is actually a really good idea. So I reckon we'll get ports of some of the Resident Evil games for sure on this. I know we have some of them on Switch, but none of them with the RE engine, none of the remakes. So I reckon, why not? Why not throw a Resident Evil 4 remake on there? Resident Evil 7 and 8, hell, do a bundle. I think that is gonna do wonders for the public perception of what the next Nintendo console might be. And I'm sure there are many many other third-party developers out there that are like, why didn't we support the Switch? That was a dumb idea. And they're definitely gonna dip their greedy little fingers into the Switch 2 day one for sure. And then of course, of course, we're gonna have a buttload of indies there. The Switch did so well with indies and indies did so well with Switch. They're like a match made in heaven. So why wouldn't Nintendo continue that onto the Switch too? You'd be stupid not to. So there's gonna be some heavy hitting indies there day one as well. I wanna say Silk Song, but it seems like Microsoft has the marketing rights to that. And I think if they're gonna like push it as like a launch title, 
maybe Nintendo is going to want the marketing rights. Maybe we could see Hades 2 as a launch title. Definitely some kind of bigger indie studio is going to have an output day one for the Switch. And then, of course, there's going to be heaps of smaller ones as well. N Nintendo continues to support the indie scene. I, uh, uh, I, Basically, if they don't continue, I'll be pissed off. If they do continue, I guess I'll be just as happy as I am now, which is really happy. So that's what I think the Switch 2 is going to launch with. What about you guys? There's many titles that have potential that I've left out here. Could we see another Fire Emblem? Oh, Kirby. I'm sure we'll see something Kirby, you know, because there's got like 15 games on the Switch. I'm sure there's going to be one there day and date with the Switch 2. Luigi's Mansion, Bayonetta. What do you guys think? Have I missed out something that you think is going to be there day one? I will definitely be watching this video and going over it when the Switch 2 does launch just to see how ridiculously wrong I am. So maybe you should subscribe to, uh, to check that video out when it comes out in like, who knows, maybe three years at this point. Honestly, I'm one of those guys that's pretty happy to just play play my old dinosaur switch anyway there's great titles coming out still so i'm in no rush thank you very much for watching everybody i will see you on the next one peace